Hey, welcome back to another episode of Dishonored. Uh, I don't remember anything from this game because it's been a while since I've played this. Um, so, so we need to go to War Paladin. What's his name? Pendleton, not Paladin. How do I run? I done forgot how to play this game. Hello. Oh, okay. Ask me for any gear you need. Okay. Probably reload. Okay, well. Corvo. The Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spymaster, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. Okay. All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emily. You make this old military man proud. That's it, then. Well, I'm glad to make him proud. And we do have to head out right away, which... I don't really have a reason to stay. Off to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Just climb aboard when you're ready. city for years, but you lived in Dunwall Tower with the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? Mm -hmm. That's right. We'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Sit her down. I'm bringing Sokolov back alive. He's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole of Dunwall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions, and the like seems dangerous to me. But what do I know? Here we are. I'll meet you at the arches under Sokolov's place. Assume I'm just dead now. Curfew means ain't nobody allowed to be just wandering about, except us guards. Yeah, I know. But if we do see someone, then what? We say something? Remind them about curfew? No, you don't remind them. Chase him down, and you give him a severely deadly beating, is what? Okay, yeah, I got it. No point severely deadly beating. <coughs> Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Someone else. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Okay. I need to take down him, but there's another guy. What the fuck? See something? Guards! To me! <laughs> 
Ah. Here we are. Help. Yeah, I know. What if we do something? Then what? We say something? Remind them of our curfew? No. You don't remind them. You chase them down. And you give them a severely deadly beating is what. Okay, yeah, I got it. Severely deadly beating. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Oh, yeah, can't go. Just yet. The heck? Why can't I go? Ah, is the warehouse key? So we can go down there now, but why can't... Oh, wait. I need to put this somewhere, don't I? Oh, wait. Unless we're supposed to put it down here. And put it in here. Okay, I thought that thing was about to explode. Um, oh, one did explode. Click. Alright. Now. Uh, wait. <laughs> I'm dumb. Okay, I also see that there is... This right here. No foot traffic is allowed across Altman's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Oh, no, stupid cut. Don't son of a gun. Curse the plague and this blasted curfew. How is anyone supposed to make a living? Well now, Mr. Pratchett. Even a wealthy man like you needs the city watch. Gangs are cutting throats and smashing windows left and right, and the weepers, excuse me, the plague victims are worse. Are you saying the Lord Regent is wrong for imposing curfew? It won't do you any good to bait me, officer. But don't worry, I'll be fine. I'll profit. A smart man can come out ahead, even in the time of plague. Sure, like that Sokolov. He's doing fine. Always a lot of exotic items coming and going from his place. Keeps this place running, at least for now. Yes, yes, if by exotic you mean foul-smelling as a witch's bottom. The royal physician will be fine too until he crosses the wrong man. What? See something? 
Of course, as soon as I have a chance to do it. He turns around. The plague and this blasted curfew. How is anyone supposed to? I'm not listening to that again. Okay. Ooh, a key. Does it go to this door? <gasps> I hear a rune. And I made the mistake of not checking if there were any runes or bone charms in uh, the place we were before. That's the city's dead. Make it three more months. Hmm, it's in the safe, is it? It is. Hmm. Remember that the truth is in the paintings. The way to the way to the truth starts in the crowded streets. Continue until you see an anchored whaling ship. From there, find the slaughterhouse, and the truth will be revealed to you. So, wait, is this all on a painting, or do I have to actually go to these places? Well, there's a ship. There's number seven on there. One. <laughs> Are you now? Ooh. Outside a shrine. Oh gosh. Rivers change course over many lifetimes, and eventually all bridges tumble down. A thousand years ago, there was another city on this spot. The people carved the bones of whales into runes and inscribed them with my mark. Children still find them washed up in the river mud. Anton Sokolov has made a great study of my runes, but he's not special like you are. He wasn't chosen and he doesn't wear my mark, so he can't unlock their secrets. Sokolov believes there are specific words and acts that can compel me to appear before him. He searches old temples in Pendicia and ruined sub-basements in the flooded district. He performs disgusting rituals beneath the old abbey. But if he really wants to meet me, he could start by being a bit more interesting. Cool. Um, do we have enough to get bent time? No, we just need two more. Oh, the slaughterhouse. So there's three. So we have three and seven. Where's the note? Okay. Okay. The way to the truth starts in the crowded streets. You uh, continue into, you see an anchored whaling ship. So that's seven. And the slaughterhouse is three. Okay, it's something seven three. Ah, okay. So, all right, well, now we have the code. The code is four seven three. Remember that. Y'all writing that down? Oops. Yeah. Now we can play the game. Those things, 
Give me the willy, sir. You'll be thankful when Slackjaw's boys come down the street to slit your ricker. It'll be fun to watch them turn to ash. There was a time when we didn't need these things to keep a gang of kids down. I think since the plague hit, none of them expects to live past 20. So why be scared of anything? Are you good? Like, are you... I, I'm, I'm not gonna risk it. Nah, you're not good. Hey, you there! Show yourself! City Watch, wake up! We've got some low-life breaking curfew. Oh. Let's show who owns... Somebody give me a hand! Wow. Fish bait. I'm going to go ahead and save. Wouldn't that be the top? Take that! Ha ha ha! Let's beat him to the left! Get behind him! Get around him! Watch out! Check the whale oil. Mud fur. The lights are working perfect. Well, there's nothing to do. And I like climbing the buildings. Just leave the oil tanks be, or they'll break. Why they always gotta put me with you, I just don't know. <laughs> That was stressful. Now we're in Sokolov's house. And there is a rune. Do we have enough? <gasps> we have enough. Bend time at level two. Completely stops time before our short duration. And we move normally. Now that's a good sacrifice if I do say so myself. So loud, holy cow. I probably need to get up there.
Whoa. We just got flung. Oh crap. Indeed, I believe so. Ew. What is that gross sound? Oh, somebody needs our help. A damsel in distress. Money. Ah, now you are too scared. Too scared. That's what I thought. <laughs> we could have also like fed him bodies. Falling charm added. Falling star. Drop assassinating. Someone gets you a bit of mana. Oh well. Too bad we can't do that. Here you are, little lady. Oh. Thank you for helping me. I thought it was safe, but there were rats. So many rats, completely infested. I know some folks aren't superstitious, but I swear, the rats showed up after a man came through, waving around an amulet of some kind. It looked like it was made of bone. But he's dead now, like the others who were living here. Hmm. The kind of made it sound like uh, there was a little amulet that you could wear and uh, you could just walk through like a pile of rats and they won't bother you. If Sokoloth is testing elixirs on people to cure the plague, why is it dangerous for hopeless citizens? If the city's no, dead, stupid. You have no make it three more months. Philosophy. Obviously, hmm. it's because the one. I think it's a good time for us to. to Oops. Impossible. I don't know who you are or why you did this for me, but listen. Nearby, there's a partially collapsed building. Up on what used to be the third floor, you'll see a painting. I used to work there. Behind the painting, there's a safe, and the code is 294. 294. Write that down. Our job. Guards, to me. That's probably fine to have it to be able to kill them. Elevator. Cigars tonight? Indeed, I believe so.
Well, that works out for us. my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which in conjunction with a high heat therapy, which came to me <laughs> cage like an animal pain is horrible right now so I'll just hide in a corner and leave when I'm feeling better all right we got circle of free to captive and we need to get out This game so much. <laughs> Did not know he was there. <laughs> down guard so that's good it's a good sign howdy Royal position himself you made a neat job of it drop him here and we'll be off Let's take Sokolov back. Uh, overall chaos is low. That's all I care about. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I don't really care about the bone char- like, like, I don't really care about getting every single thing, like the paintings, all the runes and charms and everything. Getting the, the ghost. And, uh, didn't kill anybody. I don't care. I'm just glad to, like, finish all that. I just get low chaos. They set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. Well 
Well done, Corporal. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. All right, let's get some sleep. Corvo, wake up. You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. <laughs> I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. No problem. <laughs> Cora, this is a drawing I made of you without your scary mask. Oh, that's cute. I like it. I think I'll keep it. Oh. There's a scream. Sure will take place without delay. Okay, thank you very much. Alright, well, uh, I think I'm just gonna leave this episode off. I don't know how long this episode... Okay, hold on. <laughs> I don't know how long this episode is gonna be, uh, because I've had a lot of fails, so I'm gonna have to cut out a lot of stuff. Um, so it's just not, like, boring. You're not seeing me just, like, rush in, fail, rush in, fail, and... Finally have a success. Uh, but yeah, that'll do it for this episode. So uh, next time on Dishonor, we're going to go meet up with Sokolov now that he is captured. And we are getting further, or not further, closer and closer to finishing this game. So yeah, hope you're enjoying the series as much as I am. And I will see you next time.